Hi, welcome back to Taylor's Bible Story Book, kiddos. And we're going to do another story, which is story number 12, which is Rebecca Says Yes. In the morning, Abraham's servant wanted to take Rebecca and leave at once to return to Abraham. But her mother and her brother said, let her stay with us a few days at least, and then she may go. The man begged them not to delay him, for he felt that he should hurry back to his master again. They said, we'll call Rebecca and ask her if she is willing to go so soon. She replied, yes, I'll go now. So they sent her to Isaac, and, and they never saw her again, for Isaac's home was hundreds of miles away. After many long, hot, weary days of camel travel, they came at last to Canaan, just as the sun was going down. Isaac had gone out into the field for a walk to be alone with his thoughts. Perhaps he wondered whether the servant would soon be back and whether God had helped him find a girl to be his wife. What would she be like? Just then he looked up, and the camels were coming. When Rebekah saw Isaac walking in the field, she asked the servant who it was coming to meet them. The servant told her that it was Isaac. Then she took a veil and covered her face with it. Isaac brought her into the tent that had been his mother's before she died, and Rebekah became his wife, and he loved her. Abraham gave all he had to Isaac and died at the age of 175. He was buried in the cave that he had bought from Ephron, where he had buried his wife, Sarah. And that's the end of story number 12. Rebecca says yes.